Okay, hey hypersurfacer, sorry for all the, uh, how long it took me to get to this. Um, I've spent a, probably way more time on this than I should have. I've been trying to figure out the best way to accomplish the C-pillar that you're struggling with, and um, I've found, I've probably tried this 50 ways, and each one of them gives me a different type of control. Um, the two that, I've, that I'm going to show you here um, probably come closest to what you need. Um, I have not tweaked these, so the curvature is not perfect on them. You will see wonks in the surfaces, but uh, it'll give you an, an, at least an idea of, of how you could go about building them. Um, the first way that I will show you is this way, which is pretty straightforward um, looking anyway. Um, if I look at what this is comprised of, let's see here, I think that's it. All right, so um, I'll just show all of these. And just hide that. Alright, so basically I have uh, all these different surfaces and this one and this one are the ones that you're interested in. I mean, get those two a different color or something. Uh, Alright, so those two are the ones you're interested in, right? Basically I've got very simple slabs on all the other sides and then um, what I've done is uh, I created this simple, very simple um, fillet here that actually, if you look at it historically, it's a it's a sweep that goes, you know, between this surface and this one, the parent surfaces. And then what I've just done is put a spline on here and trimmed it back, and then trimmed it here and put a little fill surface in here. Um, this could be a, a multi-section sweep. It could be, uh, you know, a bi rail. It could be um, just a fill surface. Um, in this case, I did a quick fill surface because it was good enough, but um, in reality, it might be nicer if you could use something a little cleaner. Um, and then I just used the resulting edges here to create a single multi-section sweep surface in between. Now, I would like to point out that um, in order to get... Uh, basically, what the challenge is with what you're showing me here is if we look at your original photo... Let's look at this thing. Um, what's difficult to achieve here is this part right here, the way this, this, this character line that's traveling across the edge of the hood, you want that to carry on straight into the body of the car, right? Um, and what the surfaces will have a tendency to do is they'll want to do something more like this, right? They'll want to look like that. You'll get this highlight line that'll travel upward with the C-pillar, and that's clearly not the design intent here. So your designer brought you this model, let's say, and this clay model, and he's showing clearly that there is a highlight line that extends beyond into this window. And so making this would be easy enough, but trying to control this is a little more difficult. And um, I'd like to eventually do a series of tutorials on this subject, but um, suffice it to say that this is one way to do it. And what I've had to do is create, um, let's see here, I actually had to create a, uh, a middle um, section. So I have a, if I look at my multi-section surface here, uh, let's see, oh, wrong thing, come here. All right, so I basically swept from here to here to here using these two rails as guides and then with tangency on all sides and I can use this spline to control this highlight here. See how I've got, if you look, you can see this highlight continues straight into this and I can uh, use this curve here, I can adjust the endpoints and the te tension of this curve in order to control how far that highlight actually makes it back into my blend. A second way that I could do it that is, uh, it was working a little more cleanly for me um, but isn't getting as close to the design intent is this here. Um, this is a, a, a single swept surface. This, so I've actually got only, uh, only one extra surface here. But um, as you can see, that highlight line tends to go up into the body, which isn't what you want, um, or at least not what the design intent you showed me was. And so the way to control that would be to control this section and to control this section and um, 
uh, probably by moving this point down some and adjusting the tension on this side to kind of force this curve, force this, uh, this highlight to continue into the surface. Um, I'm sure there's a much better way to do this, and just like last time uh, with the other video I did for you, I'm pretty sure I'm going to figure out a better way to do it in my sleep tonight. I'm going to wake up in fits dreaming about this, and tomorrow I'll have a better way, um, and we'll have to show you. But for now, that's what I got. So uh, good luck with that, and uh, have fun.